Hey, it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms. And today I want to show you the entire process of baling the hay on this property. I've got footage of it being cut, raked, and baled. I'm also going to fix some ruts out here in the hay field from when a F-350 with a gooseneck got stuck trying to turn around in my field. And then I'm also going to haul off some logs that are in the way over here where we pulled out the corral, do a little bit of work with my tractor while they're doing the hay. They've got a cool old John Deere out here, a New Holland and a case. So we'll show a variety of tractors and baling equipment. So it should be a good time. Stick around and let's get going. The tractor you're seeing right now is a 1984 Case 2094. It's about a 127 horsepower tractor, I believe, which surprised me from the size of it. This footage that you're watching now is from two or three days ago. They came up here and cut everything the first day and then let it sit a few days and they're back today to do the rest of the baling. You guys know that I really like John Deere tractors, especially the older ones. And this old John Deere 2750 just rolled onto my property so I had to come down here and check it out. My neighbors who live just down the road pull the hay off this property they give us a third of the hay which we sell back to them we get a little bit of money without doing any work I think it's pretty common mutually beneficial setup this tractor he didn't know the exact year on it but they only made the 2750 from 1982 to 1986 so it's right in that range somewhere it's a 75 horsepower tractor gets 62 horsepower to the drawbar so even though it's a little older it's still going to get work done and has plenty of power for pulling something like this hay rake. I don't remember exactly what day they bailed this. I'm thinking it's been two or three days ago. Feels pretty dry to me. I mean, some of it is a little bit sticky where it's still green. But I think they're gonna go ahead and bail it today.
Now this shot here gives you a pretty good look at the property and shows two of the main sections that we bale. You can see my tractor there in the center where I've ripped down that corral and I've got it over there and got the grapple on getting ready to start moving some log chunks. And then there's a fence line on that side of the pond that separates these two fields and I'm going to take that fence down and open up in between. Even though we've already seen a case tractor and a John Deere out here today, they primarily use New Holland because there's just a huge price difference in new machines of this size between Deere and New Holland. And a lot of the farmers in this area bale with New Holland, but probably the second most common I see is Deere. I haven't went around and counted the bales yet for this baling, but I think last year we got 34, which not all of that is my property, and I only get a third of the hay. So it doesn't add up to that much money, but definitely still better than nothing. And I'm working on some of the areas at the back of the property to get those set up where they can be baled as well. Then everything on the other side of the driveway is also baled except for obviously where the house sits. But this is a better pasture because it doesn't hold water and it's a long flat stretch. We got some footage of this field being raked but the drone batteries all died before we got any of this being baled. I decided to quit playing with the cameras and try to get a little bit of work done. So I'm picking up all the wood chunks out of this old corral that I've taken down and carrying those over to the wood pile. Getting this area cleared allows me to start on the property drainage project that I've really been wanting to get done for a couple months now. But it's just been difficult to get it done because everything's been overgrown and there was just a lot of stuff in the way that needed cleared out but now that we're in the dry season and the area is clear it's perfect time to get all those trenches and drain lines ran so in the next video you're gonna see taking down a fence and then a lot of digging and some updates on the tree farm <clears throat> All right, I'm in a rut right now from where a big truck got stuck turning around in my field. It was a misunderstanding. I did not want them driving back here, but they, they misunderstood what I meant and tried to make a circle and turn here. It's too wet. Got an F-350 with a 30-foot gooseneck stuck. It was uh, half a day to get them out, and the ruts they left behind were two foot deep, but the pro it was so wet down here, I couldn't fix it at the time, and then by the time it dried out, the hay was three foot tall and I didn't want to trample this whole area trying to find it. It would have been harder to fix. So they had to drive across this whenever they were bailing. But right now is the perfect time to fix these ruts and get them filled in. There's an area, I don't know, 10, 15 foot circle here that's just all rutted up. And I'm going to get that fixed real quick.
All right, so they're almost done with the baling. They're just finishing up a little bit in the back corner. I'm thinking right now that I want to take this fence right here out and open it up so that all of this can be done in one straight pass. Previously, we had this fence to work around, this little lean-to shed here, and a corral. I've already ripped out the corral. I think I'm going to take this lean-to out, take out all this fence, and open it up. It's just an extra area that has to be maintained on both sides of it. It originally served a purpose for livestock to separate, you know, where they had different parts of the property for different uses, but I'm not gonna keep any livestock. So it serves no purpose for me. So I think in an upcoming video, you'll see me taking this out. That also gives me the ability to run my drain lines to the pond across this area. So anyway, I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. Just a minute, you'll see links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.